Right, we've finished with work on functions. So now we're going to start with second topic, which we're going to study in calculus, which is going to be limits. So today we're going to start talking about limits and we're going to look at tangent and velocity problems. So I've got a tangent problem here. And what I want to do is I've got an equation y equals x squared and I want to find the tangent line at the point P with coordinates 1, 1. And he has a diagram that goes with the problem. He has the equation here. He has the point P with coordinates 1, 1. And I've drawn in a line here and we want to find the equation of this line here. So what I do is I choose a point on the curve with coordinates and any point on the curve of coordinate x x squared. So this here is point Q of coordinate x and x squared. So then the slope of it would be x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. And want to find out the coordinates 1, 1. So you might say, well, that's no problem. We can just plug in the values 1 and 1 in here and substitute them in and calculate it. But no, we can't. Because then we get 1 minus 1, which is 0, and then 1 minus 1 on the bottom, which is 0. And 0 divided by 0 is undefined. So what we do is, if you look at this table over here, we choose values of x that are getting x near the number we want. And we get closer and closer. Look how these numbers here are approaching 1. Because I've got 2, 1.5, 1.1, 1.01, 1.001, 1. those are getting closer to 1. And from this side, these are zeros. And look how these are getting closer to 1. And these here are the slopes calculated. So all you've, all you've done here is, I'll show you, you've plugged in the values, which I'll do with the first one, a nice simple one for you, just to explain what I mean. We get 4 here, minus 1, over 1. We get 3 over divide by 1, which is 3. So that's how I got this value here. And for the other ones, I've just done the same things, but I'm not going to do them because the calculations are long. And you know the idea. You're just plugging in numbers into functions, and you can do that. Now, the conclusion that we get from this, we notice that the number's getting closer to 1, or approaching 2. So, the conclusion from that is that the slope of y equals x squared at the point 1, 1 is 2. And that's because we can see these coordinates here are getting closer to 2. So the slope is 2. So that means the limit, we can write that as the limit, if x gets closer to 1, of x squared minus 1, x over 1, is equal to 2. That's when x approaches 1, but never equal to 1. And the slope at that point is 2. So then we get slope 2, and then using the equation of the line, you'll find that using slope point form, you'll find that the equation of this line is y equals 2x minus 1. So then, we've got a velocity problem here. A ball thrown up vertically. And the function here 
the speed he has a function of time so the speed he has given by this function at any moment in time is given by minus 16t squared plus 29t plus 6 plus 6 and we want to find the velocity at the time where t equals 0 0.5 seconds so time is given in t is given t is equal to time in seconds h is equal to height in feet we've got no h but we're going to define a h as equal to feet because h is for height so here's a table of values here notice what I've done here is I've put values getting close out of them so we're coming from up to 0 0.5 here up to this number here if I just put a mark next to it and we're coming down to 0 0.5 here let's put a mark next to that and notice how these numbers here are getting closer to 13 coming up to 13 and from this side they're getting closer to 13 coming down and that's 16 above with 0 0.5 0 0.01 substituted in and it becomes 13 point no and it becomes that with 0 0.4999 substituted in so from that we can find a conclusion that the velocity when t equals 0 0.5 seconds is 13 feet per second and that's the solution for that problem because they say these numbers are approaching 13 so that's the idea of a limit when numbers get closer and closer to a number but never equal to it so that's a good um, view which should um, work very well and come naturally and be quite clear to see for the idea of a limit